Hello there, I'm Jane Harvey. Let us jumpstart today allowing ourselves to be moved and inspired by Tomislav Ivanchik. In yet another profound reflection, Tomislav draws a unique parallel between Jesus being laid in the tomb, our ability or inability to look at ourselves for who we are, and living without hope from a human point of view. Let's listen as Jesus says, My friends thought to have done me a great honor by putting my body in the tomb. They cared for my body and forgot what I had told them. On the third day I will rise. The tomb worries you. When the tomb is built, you cease to exist. When not even the smallest trace is left of you, what will you do? When you know that nobody will attend your funeral, when you end your life in misery, it is me who knows you. It is a cross to bury one's last wish, the wish to be respected here on earth. For this wish prevents you from being of real importance, from being a light for others. How can you be a light as long as you shrink back from burying your dark e egoism with you? As long as you want to be near me, but don't want to burn your bridges behind you. Bury your wishes and accept this cross. Only then can I transform your life. There is resurrection above it. Therefore, I derive pleasure from the tomb in which your arrogance is buried. You don't want to be put in a tomb. You are shocked by the thought of letting go of this life. If you were willing to accept death, you would be able to rise in my life. Only one who is dead can rise. Don't be afraid. What you call death is a bridge from you to me. The death of sin means joy and union for you and me, the fulfillment of all wishes and longings. I have gone this way and I am waiting for you. Don't you understand that by my death, I did not leave the world, but that it has been given to me. Before that, I was only a guest on earth. Now. I am the master. You will be as I am. Give to death what belongs to it. Don't regard the tomb as a sad end, but as a birth and a real beginning. So today, let's thank him for knowing the deepest parts of our hearts, how we worry about how we've lived our lives. Thank you for reminding us that you are the only one who truly knows us. And finally, thank you for giving us such peace in the simplest visual image of death being a bridge from us to you. Now go be a blessing to someone today and I'll see you next time.